Hi, this is Murph. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to install a uh, Perl module from cpan.org into a Mac. So I'm trying to download a install a module called uh, uh, REST client, which is basically a, a REST uh, client for REST API tool um, from Perl. And uh, to do that, first I just do a search on the Maybe the API that I'm looking for. So it should get something called REST client here. There you go. And then once I log in, um, I see some details about the module and the, and the usage, right? How to use it. Some examples, um, and and you know how many people download, testing it, and what are the issues uh, that might be, um, and, and and a lot of details, right? Um, so first, uh, to get it uh, installed on my machine, is basically I'm gonna download this module here. I guess it's downloaded, and then if I go to my downloads directory, sorry, if I um, do a lslrt, just ls, uh, you know, uh, rest client. So I see that. So first, I need to uh, Extract it right so to xbzf you can use a regular double click if you click on the uh, Mac here. I can just do it from there as well. It just does it automatically XBZF. Rest And done so now I should have a directory called rest uh, the, the model name so see so in most cases some uh, some authors of the module uh, put a, a readme file. In this case, that's not the case. If you don't see it, you can try this. First, you can do Perl make file. You have to have Perl installed, right? So I have it installed, and then do a Perl make file. Okay, and then you do make. Okay, and then um, you do sudo. Because you know I don't have admin rest on the machine and all, so I want to have sudo uh, make test and basically try a test on the make thing, and it's passed, right? So there is no error. That's good. Now if I want to install it, just do sudo make install, and it's done. So now this this um, install this uh, you know REST client module here on the machine, and it also updated my library. So now I should be able to use uh, this module, and that's that's how it is, it is done. So uh, if you see the readme file on the module, just read it and see if there's any special instructions. Otherwise, in most cases, you can follow the steps that I followed. This should be similar on other distribution like uh, Linux or FreeBSD, uh, because uh, you know uh, Mac is based on uh, Unix, uh, so it should be similar. Uh, so. If you like this video, just uh, press like or you know subscribe to this my videos. Thank you very much for watching.